Hey viewers, this is Slick Sinister here with another episode of Tekken for Thought. I'm back at it with a review of my gameplay matches. I like rewatching my replays and breaking them down so I can improve. And critiquing yourself is a good resource, especially when you have replays and the share feature and you can record your matches. So I'm going to take a look at some points to remember when you're reviewing your matches. So right here is me versus a good online sparring buddy, Linux20Z. Shout out to the Chicago scene where he's at. That's a good scene if you guys are out there in the Midwest, check him out. So right now for me, whenever I review my matches, I always keep an open mind. Because some games you'll play at your best, and some you'll play at your worst. The purpose is just to figure out the inconsistencies in your game. So right now, I'm just going to check and see how I approach the character as far as poking, punishment, and that was unnecessary mix-up that I was trying to do. Now granted, I'm gonna clinch it out, but that could have turned really bad with Negan and Rage. So, keep it moving along. I, I win the first round. Now I'm a little bit hard on myself because I expect a lot more from myself. Alright, no, no throw break. And bad punish. It could have been really bad for me. Checking. That's just me being a scumbag checking with back two. Alright. Ooh, whiff that. One thing I don't want to do is whiff. At least block it. Alright. Punish could have been a better one. And that's only on counter hit. So I can only that I catch him, catch him stepping. I caught him trying to press a button while stepping. That was bad input error. Now, if your inputs are bad consistently, then you need to deal with that. But sometimes that happens. Just gotta chunk that up. Bad read on my part. Good read on my part. Alright. Sometimes I check with that with Bob back back four. Bad conversion. I mean, the, not the punishment I want, but I'll take it. And dash block. Ooh, I'm glad they let PS4 online let me do that. Sometimes that's hard to do. Now, one thing I'll also say is that, you know, be honest with yourself. Like, when I review my matches, I do it because a lot of times what I think I'm actually doing is not what actually happens in the match. And some people, you know, we're human beings, we're stubborn, we don't want to listen to nobody sometimes. So when I look at matches, sometimes I tell myself, oh, I'm moving really good. And in a match, you're stiff. Or you think you're doing good, but when you watch yourself from the outside looking in, you're not doing so hot. So, you know, reviewing your matches is a good way to see how you actually play. Alright, this next round, same concept. Now, keep in mind, you know, even though I'm showing different videos, I also like to rewatch my videos. It's just like reading. Sometimes, you know, when you read something a second or third time, you know, you pick up on stuff you didn't notice. Now, already off the bat, Linux has got me pretty good on some solid hits. Good punishment on his part. I'm being silly. He has a life lead, so he's just doing frame trap off axis. Now, that's something that I need to stop doing. I got caught up panicking, hoping he would run in. He didn't have to. Alright, I caught him doing up back two with uh, Negan. Didn't break the grab. Alright, good combo on the wall. Pressure. Caught him on the end. Ooh, he caught me with 442 at the very tip. More pressure. Uh, he messed up. He got too happy on his end. Now, normal circumstances, sometimes you don't want to try people. But, you know, sometimes you have to break the ice. Now, I ate that on counter hit. That's an ugly 3 4 piece I just ate for that life. Got it back. Ooh, I should have known better. I got happy trying to jab. I'm going to eat this nice long wall carry. I knew better. Ooh, I got it. Everybody gets one sometimes. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And I... All right, break the grab. Good throw break on my part. Got to be careful. He has rage. And... Ooh. 
I ate the very tip of that launcher. I was getting too happy moving. You know, sometimes you don't have to move so much because you will get clipped. All right, just ate this wall combo. He messed up on his part and I should have just blocked the whole string. All right, wall pressure on my part. Ooh, he ate it again. All right, try to put him back there. Ugh. Ooh, that was bad on my part. And he he baited me. I went to do down four two. I did the scumbag Bob, where they block down four two and you duck and do instant while rising two one. He beat me in the head with bat for it. <laughs> now, as you can see, that match I lost, and I also critique matches that I lose. Also, when I need help with my matches. I also show matches that I win and lose. Don't just show the matches that you win. Don't ask people for advice and then you show me a video of you stomping somebody out for three rounds. Because even if you might have been a bad game, you still won, you still, you know, roughed it out. So be honest, show the stuff that you lose, look at the stuff that you lose also. So that way you can be a better player. Now in this instance, you know, I'm running Falcon, Rummy's running Garn with you. I'm like, we're well, we're well adept with our character, so we try to add on to it with other ones. Keep it moving out with Falkaram. I really don't want to be this close to him. Because Falkaram excels at range two, range two to three. And Garmer, he wants to get in. So let's check out how I do this. So I'm good blocking. All right, I shouldn't have pressed the button on any of that. He didn't convert, but I will. Boom, boom, boom. And that's just me. <laughs> Bad execution. All right, oh, caught him with the feint. I knew better, and I teched. Kind of didn't have a choice because if it would have laid there, that still would have hit me. All right, next match. Counter hit down four. Little barrage, and then I calm down. Now keep in mind, you know, when you're doing your offense, you can't just go full in constantly. You gotta learn how to shift gears and shift down. All right. Okay, punish could have been better. I told Linux later that he could have punished with four both punches. All right, now that was dumb on my part. Falcon runs both kicks is negative nine, and I press the button, and I deserve that. All right. Linux is trying to go in while having a life lead. I don't know why. All right, now that was a good check on his part. Next round. Now, even though I did that, there was no reason for me to an open field. I don't get nothing extra on that on block. And the fast version on counter hit does the same thing as the charge one. All right, Linux is checking me. Ooh, good punish on him. That was counter hit. All right, we traded, and I whiffed. Ew. All right, good punish on my part. He checked me. It's fifty-fifty. All right, win goes to him. Now, in that matchup, I could have did a lot better. As far as I know how negative Fakaram is, and I understand with that character that my turn stops on certain moves. I should have just blocked, waited, and then reset. So also when I review, I just look at the little tidbits of stuff like that. Now you're not going to know every single thing, but for the characters that you play or if it's your main, you know, you should feel comfortable enough to know, hey, I know when I should stop pressing, I know when I shouldn't. So when you watch it, you should know you should know how to better improve on yourself. All right, moving along. Some more matches on the way to record. So I know what I need to do. I knew I played real sloppy. So I don't need to tighten up. I had a counter hit. He could have let that rip. All right. Ooh, good check for me. Down three four three scummy if someone tries to instant while rising him during that. So now ooh, he could have launched before that, but he wasn't ready. He caught me back dashing. 
My bad dash cancel wasn't tight. Decent damage. Nah, he was too far. He didn't believe. Ooh, he did that punish late. Now, Falcon Runs 444 is bad on block to be punishable, but it's hard to punish. Keep it moving, keep it spacing. All right, good knockdown. Ooh. And good old slow mo. That was that was fun. We were very excited for that. Or I was more excited because I won that round. But keep it moving along. Trying to check me with Gamma. He's down for two on the slaps. I could have punished better. But that's okay. Live and learn. Ugh. Got to pressure me with the sumo stances. Good reaction on my part. Oh, he did a good, good read. Good damage on his part. Like he had low life. I went for the low. All right, and bad, <laughs> bad conversion on his part. Ooh, he ducked. But I'll take it. I tried to reset, and I just ate that for no reason. I gotta tighten up on that block. All right, frame advantage. Now I'm trying to stay out of range. If you notice, after certain moves. Linux is, is uh, going in. All right, checking with mids. So consistently, I am I am checking him with certain stuff, and then this time around, I'm actually knowing that when I'm when I'm supposed to stop on block on my part. Good punishment on counting for that. I could have punished that. All right, keeping my space. Matter range, I prefer with Fakura. Even though that's this, <laughs> Link has a statue life lead, all right. I know he was doing there, just checking. All right, checking down back four. Again, ooh, he, he thought I was gonna go for another uh, jet kick. And that with, that was a sad face. Now, right now, I'm just scrambling. Like, he could have been headbutted me. But sometimes when people have low health, they kind of clamp up because they don't want to lose it. Sometimes you can take advantage of that. Sometimes you can't. But that comes with the territory. So as I'm reviewing my matches, you know, all right, another round. Fuck round versus uh, Garu. <laughs> Right now, me and Linux are going back and forth. And also, when I review matches, I also ask for opinions of other people. Like, even after I've done this with, for Tekken for Thought, you know, I talk to people, ask them how they feel about this match, and I listen. And I take in the constructive criticism. Sometimes you may not want to hear it, but sometimes you need to hear it. So, check, so checking the approach again. I'm going to try to space out. He's gonna try to stay in Magama you, so space in the park, go back in, space in the park, go back in. 444 is punishable, but the problem is that max range when blocked, can't really punish it. Me being silly, I know better. Alright, good checking from Linux's point. Alright, let me see if I can convert this into. Uh, ooh, he really tried to hit me there, ladies and gentlemen. And I tried to reset again. <laughs> He's looking for those lows. So, I need to start doing more mids on him. Especially towards the end of the round. Didn't expect it that time. Alright, so now I'm just keeping it compact. I overextended. The standing three was blocked. That's negative. Very negative. Ooh, all right. Let's try to check him. He could have punished me, but he was so focused on the other options. Ooh, that rage drive hurts. That's a good ooh, about 55 damage with the follow-up. Caught him again. All right. I blocked it. 
caught him again. Now that whiffed. Now note to self, I need to be careful doing that in that situation. Ooh, caught him slipping. Ooh, we ate the reset. I'll take that. All right, round four. So as I'm sitting there, oop, good whiff punish on my part. I'm picking up. I'm hanging around range two or three because Pokemon has the reach. Now that time I got happy, messed that up. All right, so Lennox whiffed on there. I'm trying to bait a reaction. All right, and I should I don't have advantage after throw break, so. Now that time Lennox ducked the jet kick, but he didn't punish me for it, so that's bad on his part. But I will punish him on my part. All right, that round go to me. Now, like I mentioned before, no one plays perfect. I'm looking to make sure that I normally punish stuff like bam, like right there. That, that was an okay risk. He's been really trying to lock me down for my movement. Also, you know, he leaves a couple of videos between me and him. We actually played a long set. So at this point, when it's long set, you tend to kind of pick up on patterns. So I'm also reviewing the kind of patterns that we do over time. That time I'm blocking. He could have punished me for that. He knows it, but because of him trying to learn with this character, it might be a little different. He knows that's bad. Ooh, I got him that time. And I just did something dumb. Ooh, ooh, the game gave it to me. GG's. This wraps up another wonderful edition of Tekken for Thought. This is